So Justin, we just saw the Microsoft Gamescom press conference, and I guess the big takeaway that everyone is talking about right now is this whole exclusive deal that they have with Rise of the Tomb Raider. Coming holiday 2015, exclusively to Xbox. It was actually so frustrating listening to the, the Microsoft press conference because of the, how much they threw around the word exclusive, and you just had to try to decipher, like, does this mean, is that, is that actually exclusive, or, or do you mean exclusive for this month? And Rise of the Tomb Raider is one that's come up over and over again, because they, I mean, they seem to say very explicitly, this is exclusive to Xbox, and not Xbox One, Xbox 360 and Xbox One, I would assume. And they were very careful with their wording on this, and I think Crystal Dynamics basically repeated the exact same wording on their own blog, where they say it's not exclusive to Xbox Holiday 2015. So, do you think, and you know, they have said it is exclusive, do you think it is actually exclusive for all time, or are we talking time no. exclusive here? What do, you, what do you think? No, there's no way this is exclusive for all time. Not only does, does that incredible carefulness with the way that they word it. Always saying, holiday 2015, exclusive to Xbox. That lets them come back later and go, no, we meant holiday 2015 is exclusive to Xbox. So when it comes out for PlayStation and PC, they don't have to say that they said something wrong or different. They were just being very careful with the way they worded it. If it were only Xbox One, maybe I could understand it a little bit more, but the fact that they're going last gen and current gen means that they have a pretty wide development cycle anyway. This is going to come to PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, PC, probably not Wii U or Vita. You know, at the end of the day, Microsoft did this to sell consoles, right? So do you think that, you know, come holiday 2015, they'll achieve that goal with this exclusivity, or have they sort of shot themselves in the foot with this whole thing? Well, the problem is that I think people are too smart, they're too savvy to, to fall for this kind of thing, that people realize when you're this careful with the way that you word things, it's not an actual exclusive. If this were an exclusive, that would be that would be an actual bombshell. That would be huge. That would make people graduate to an Xbox One. And that's what Xbox really needs to do. That's what Microsoft needs to do. They need to convert people who right now are going over to PlayStation 4, who you know used to be on Xbox 360, and they need to keep those people on that Xbox platform. Yeah.